there's a, a number of randomized phase twos that have popped up over the last year um, as different companies have taken their PD pathway inhibiting agents forward in RCC and other diseases. One of those is um, from Roche Genentech. They have a PD-L1 inhibitor. They presented some data, I believe, at last year's ASCO about the phase one, including some kidney cancer patients showing activity. And so their next step has been to look at um, their PDL1 inhibitor by itself, PDL1 inhibitor plus Avastin, um, their uh, anti VEGF antibody, or uh, sunitinib as a third arm, as sort of a control arm. This is for upfront treatment of uh, clear cell uh, metastatic RCC patients. Uh, the trial started and, and is accruing rapidly. Um, it's uh, looking at progression free survival, really just to benchmark, in essence, um, PDL1 inhibition alone or in combination with an anti VEGF agent. One of the advantages of this study is that uh, the anti-VEGF agent is not a tyrosine kinase inhibitor, which inhibit other things as well and probably are going to be more toxic in combination. So there may be some advantage to using a, a monoclonal antibody, which is just going to be a little more pure in its VEGF inhibition and, and probably better tolerated as a combination, I would, I would guess. Um, but it's an exciting study and, again, is really just part of the wave of, of clinical trials in this area. There's a number of combination studies ongoing now um, in this next wave of, of PD-1 drug um, development in kidney cancer. One of them is using Merck's compo compound, which is a PD-1 antibody. That's also a randomized phase two trial. It's um, PD-1 antibody alone, uh, pazopinib alone, standard TKI in the frontline setting, or the combination. Uh, that trial has a, a lead in phase one part because of the concern for liver function abnormalities with the PD-1 uh, antibody plus pazopinib. Pazopinib can cause liver function abnormalities in a minority of patients. S some other combination studies um, are looking at PD-1 plus uh, interferon. There's some uh, preclinical data about interferon affecting the expression of PD-L1 uh, in tumor cells, uh, and also interferon affects T cells, right? Interferon was sort of the, one of the first immunotherapies, very nonspecific has some utility in kidney cancer, although not clinically used anymore because we have targeted agents uh, and other more effective drugs. Um, so this, that, that particular trial is just an example of another combination that's being explored of, of in essence, immunotherapy plus immunotherapy. Um, interferon, again, has some utility in kidney cancer and in melanoma where it's used in the adjuvant setting. So I think those data may have relevance to, to those two particular diseases. And it's really just another piece of the puzzle as we figure out if combinations are going to be an, a path forward, <clears throat> excuse me, and, um, and in what diseases they might be helpful.